Hey, what's up? Be Operation I Droid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play NDS for iOS with a PlayStation 3 controller, as well as how to airplay it onto your Apple TV. Now, this is an extremely great jailbreak tweak that has recently been released to Cydia and only works on iOS 7. So you will need NDS for iOS, the testing version, and I'm going to be showing you how to get that in just a second. Alright, so to do this, as I mentioned earlier, you will need to be jailbroken on iOS 7 and have the latest testing version of NDS for iOS. To get this, we're going to go ahead and head into Cydia. We're going to go into the Manage tab, Sources, and we're going to click on Edit at the top right, and then Add at the top left, and we're going to add the official source for NDS for iOS, which is Cydia.AngelXWin.net. And in this source, you will find the latest updates to NDS for iOS. As you all know, it's still an application in beta, constantly being updated to get it to run at the best that it possibly can with the greatest features. Like this new feature, which allows you to play with your PS3 controller. So, once it's done adding the source, go ahead and return to Cydia. Click on the source, which is right here. Its name is Karen's Pineapple. Very nice name. Scroll down to the end and you'll see NDS for iOS testing. Click on it at the top right. Go ahead and install and confirm. I'm sure you all know how to do that. And once you have that, go into the search bar. Now we're going to get the tweak that allows you to use the DualShock controller with NDS for iOS, which is Controllers for All. A brand new tweak that costs $1.99, which is definitely worth it because it allows you to use your PS3 DualShock controller with any application that allows made for iPhone controllers in iOS 7. So again go ahead and purchase that by clicking on the top right install and then go ahead and confirm it and once you have that go back to the home screen and we're gonna quickly look in our settings so I can show you something very special. So go into the settings on your iDevice and then scroll down to where you have your jailbroken tweaks and just to make sure you should have BT stack and controllers for all. Now we're going to head into the next step, which is using our computer to sync the PS3 controller to our iDevice. All right, so this part is actually pretty simple. Just open up your favorite internet browser and go into the URL you see on screen or follow the link in the description. And then just click on the proper link for your operating system. I clicked on the Windows one just to show you that once you click on it, there's another link you have to click, which is that one right there. But if you're on Mac like myself, click on the download six pair and it will have a direct download and begin to download the six pair dot zip file. And now it will download as a dot zip file. It's not very big. So once it's done, go ahead and click on it and it will automatically begin to unzip and it will unzip into a folder, which is actually what we need to go into. Same thing goes for Windows. When it unzips, it will be in a folder. And then you're going to want to open up the six pair tool. Or if you're on an iMac, you're going to go ahead, click on the folder and open up the six pair app. Now take the time to plug in your PS3 controller using the USB that comes with it and also connecting your iDevice using the USB, either lightning bolt uh, cable or the other one. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to have to right click or double tap on a trackpad, hold down option and click open and then it will open and then you'll get a screen like this and this is all you have to do. You'll see your iPhone's name and then the PS3 six axis controller connected and all you have to do is click pair controller to iPhone and that's it. It's that simple. That's all you have to do to pair the controller to the iDevice. And you need to do this so that you only have to do this once unless you pair the controller to something else like your computer or a PlayStation 3. So now, now that the controller is paired, every time you open up any application with a um, made for iPhone availability like NDS for iOS, it'll ask you for if you want to use a PS3 controller, but this will only happen if you have BT stack activated. So go into your settings, turn that on and make sure that your iOS Bluetooth is off. Now we can actually go into the NDS for iOS application, go ahead and open it. And now you'll see that 
it'll have a notification come up initializing Bluetooth press the PS button searching for PS controller press the PS button so as you can see I went ahead and clicked the PS button starts flashing and then once it's connected you'll see that it goes into first player and now you have your PlayStation 3 controller connected to your NDS for iOS but let's kick things up a notch and airplay on to my Apple TV and let's get into some Pokemon Black 2. So, the controllers are fairly simple. Um, you can pick them up very quickly. Circle is B to run. X is A, confirm. Square is the menu. And you can actually see that the top screen, which you're airplaying, airplays onto the monitor that you're using. And then the bottom screen stays on the eye device, which is awesome. So you can use that as a touch screen and touch it as you just saw that I did. As well as if you do decide to airplay, do note that it will lag a bit due, depending on your internet connection. But um, I had no problem doing it. It all depends on how you like it. But if you're using the iPad, then I'd recommend just playing on your iPad because that's pretty cool. Remember that NDS for iOS is still in beta. So if it doesn't run at full speed on your iDevice, just be patient. Eventually it will. It does run full speed on A7 devices, which is pretty awesome. And if you want to pick up some cool games, I recommend watching the video on the top left learning how to get Pokemon Black 2 or White 2 on your NDS for iOS like I was playing here. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoy playing NDS for iOS with your PS3 controller and your AirPlay and have yourself a nice time. As well as subscribe because I will be working on a video soon on how to increase the speed or reduce lag on NDS for iOS. So that's going to be a pretty interesting video as well as I'm going to be covering GBA for iOS 2.0 very often. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.